that we are finally catching up with the Dodo Chief Domain. Finally, yes, finally. Yes. we've been trying for, I think, maybe a month yes. to get you. But we've got you now. We're on the Sunset Terrace in uh, in space. And you're about to play, well, you're playing in about an hour yeah, in the less. Terrassa. 35 minutes, to be exact. <laughs> but you're a very busy man. When was the last time you were in Ibiza? Uh, last time was in August uh, for the Amnesia. Yep. And uh, so it's been like 20 days, more or less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, I think you must be one of the most well-traveled DJs in the world. You don't stop traveling, no? I don't. Actually, I don't mind. I do enjoy traveling, yeah. uh, going different places. You know, meeting well. new people, so it's like, you know, might as well. And uh, when, did, when you first came to Ibiza, was that as a DJ or yes, as yes. a tourist? No, actually, I mean, when I first came, I was like, what is Ibiza? What is Ibiza? It's like... It's so uh, small, I can't see it. It's like, uh, yeah, and uh, I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's like a, uh, somewhere, sometime in the 90s, and I okay. came, um, the first, my first gig was actually at Pasha. In Pasha, but yeah. that was the first time the yeah. first place yeah, yeah, yeah. you played. And that was the first time yeah. like coming uh, and then like, you what know. About, because you played in Pasha, you played in Amnesia, you played in space quite a few times, yeah. So how do you, I mean, is there, a, you do have a favorite place, a favorite club that you uh, like to play like, in? It's like old, like a uh, different. Yeah. And uh, it's like, oh, it's different in good ways. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I enjoy I enjoy everything, actually. Yeah. Even I, I play the same music, it's like a different way to the program, different way to deliver. Sure. It's like, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, it's fun, actually. It's like, uh, you know, you don't have to do the same thing every time. Right. And uh, then, like, you know, I enjoy the other place I play. about the terrace here? Uh, it's like a vibe, like uh, you kind of like uh, really like, uh, it's not tiny, but it's not the big that you don't feel the intimacy. Sure. So it's like, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's the size is perfect and the booth set up, it's really good. Yeah. And uh, people looking really after, looking after DJ as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just, just comfortable. Like to just talk a little bit more te about the technical side of things and how you know when you play your music, how you like your your booth set up. You know, you move around so much. You know, there's certain things that you request when you're playing. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, I'm always the uh, I'm asking the uh, you know the same stuff. I'm, I'm playing Serato now, and the uh, mix size the uh, um, I mix that 1,000. I'm sorry, mix that 800. Yeah. And the city is CDJ 1000, uh, two of them, and uh, it's controlling the Serato. Sure. And uh, yeah, and the effects uh, uh, 1000, uh, it's like, you know, 800 like um, have the effect already, but yeah, it's kind of, you know, that variation, if it's possible. Yeah. Pioneer have got a new piece of equipment uh -huh. that have come out, uh -huh. a new CDJ. Yeah, well, actually, yeah. I'm the one of the. Uh, 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 you know, I have the uh, long relation with Pioneer, yeah. so it's like actually uh, I'm helping them the feedback. So I'm I've been working on uh, for this machine, particular machine, yeah. uh, earlier this year too. So because I mean, it can really change the way that you work with a laptop and with a CDJ because it's. If it has software that's compatible, it's compatible with Serato software that you use. Yeah. Will it really change the way that you use the CDJ? Yeah, I mean, um, it's more like convenient and the, uh, less hassle if the uh, everything if everything built in. So I'm just like hoping the uh, you know clubs starting the uh, replacing the uh, with the Disney machine. So it's like uh, you know much more like the, uh, easy yeah. when I travel. You know, just get in the booth. Sometimes it's like a lot of work, you know, especially if somebody else playing and it's like it's going the back of the mix side doing like this. So okay. must be, there must be like that layer, that changeover period between, you know, one DJ finishing and you're getting ready to start. Yeah. Got so it's like, things going I, I, on. I hate bothering people. So you're a true gentleman. <laughs>
No, because I don't want to get bothered. So I don't want to bother anybody. What about, I mean, tomorrow you're off again. You're off to Boston. Yeah, I'm again. back home tomorrow for one night and uh, changing the uh, content of the, uh, my suitcase and, the, uh, the, you know, back out again. And you're back again here before the end of the season, yeah? No, no, no this, this is the last one. This, this is the last one. This is my closing party. Your closing party. Well, we feel very pleased to, privileged to be sharing your closing party with you. Thank you. Thank and we're going to go out and we're going to watch you play. It's, it's a lot of people here tonight. It's really busy. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, despite the weather. Oh, well, we'll just keep everyone inside. <laughs> Well, actually, I just want to ask you, I mean, it's not your first Carl Cox night, I mean... No, it's my first Carl Cox night. Oh, it is your yes. first Carl Cox yes. night. Oh, I'm sorry. So I'm really excited good. about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's a great guy, you know, to, yeah. and a great... He's, he's always, like, yeah, nice a great guy. Nice to be a part yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Well, enjoy. Thank you. Thanks for chatting to us. All right. Okay. Bye.